Welcome to part three of cleaning my children's playroom. As you can see, my eldest has come in to check up on what I'm doing and make sure I'm not giving away any of her favorite books. And I'm wiping over some of the books that I'm donating. Here you can see that I'm organizing the books and coloring books and things that I've put for the bin. I'm splitting everything between cardboard and paper recycling so they're gone now. In total I think I was at this bookcase for about three hours. It's definitely taken a while but with the move soon we can't carry too many books and I just want to thin it down first, get rid of the books that are broken that I know that they don't read. And then we'll probably go through them all again just before the move and let the kids decide which ones they can part with. And then it'll be really thinned down. So I've got another box that I'm reinforcing. I store empty cardboard boxes like this. I break them down and store them in a pile in the hallway at the moment. So they're there ready to make up again when I need to use one. It saves a bit of space. Now that shelf I just can't get back on because the bookcase is a bit too wide and it's just not sl slotting in. So on this lower shelf, I'm going to have some of the taller books and then just leave that gap in the new place. I might put the books into a Calyx unit because we've got loads of those and we'll be taking them with us. There's one more part to come up and you can see my middle daughter there. I'll post the next part in just a moment.